to start, we will do create a new project. Click on the survey here. Name it. And hit get started. To um, have your name, your email, and your address all together on one line if you're looking at a report. We would start um, with a test entry question type, but we're going to change that to a form too. So we click that. Then you can type here your choices. Or you can come over here where it says multiple, edit multiple. And you would type all your your fields in here um, with one on each line. When you're done, you can hit done here. And then to edit, so you can change all these um, fields to different sizes. You can click here to edit the fields. For the first name, I'm going to change it to long. I'm going to come here and I'm going to make it a false response. The last name, I'm going to do the same thing. For the email, I'm going to do it long again. But this time I'm going to say that I would like a valid email address. So what that does is check to see if you have the at sign and .com or .edu at the end. And the address, I'm going to leave it as long. For the state, if you know it's going to be um, just the U.S. that is filling out the form, you can do valid U.S. state and it will make sure that you have this correct state um, listed. And you can do the same for the zip code. If you know it's going to just be the US zip, you can do that. For comments and questions, I'm going to turn that to an essay. And I'm going to make that required too. Or I could go over here and make everything forced. I'm going to preview it to see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to stretch this a little bit to make it look like it's an essay question. Do a preview again. We're going to fix the background and we're going to, next, we're going to fix the button too. So we're going to go to look and feel. We're going to click on themes. We would like it to be blank since it's going to be a form on the website. And we're going to go to general. We're, under header, we're going to do edit. We're going to name it here. Now oh, let's make it bold and hit save. I'm going to hit save here. Then I'm going to go back to where it says block options. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to the next and previous button. I'm going to make sure that this block is the only block and it's going to not have any page breaks. So I'm going to type submit and hit save. We could stop here and say that the form is done or we could add other question types below it. The only thing that you cannot use certain question types, that would be metrics tables, slider, hotspots, or pick and group, or rank, heat map, or drill down. 
because those questions are not accessible, but the workaround for a matrix table is a side-by-side -side table. So we're going to delete um, this so since we're not going to have any more. We're going to go to survey options. We're going to uncheck save and continue. For accessibility, we should name the form. You might want to consider this option, the HTTP referent website, and put the website here. I have not played with it, so, but if we want to make sure that, um, that it's just coming from that one page, we should do that. In the form, it doesn't really work to do a redirect because you're going to redirect your website or wherever you're going to take them back into that form size that you're creating. The only time I would say to use this is like if you have two forms that are going to be connected to each other. You want to make sure that you want to check the anonymous response that will take away the IP address and the GPS location of the person that's filling out the form. You can change your message that you get at the end and if you want to custom, you click custom message here. Since we um, check, uncheck the save and continue, you don't have to worry about the partial and hit save. Next we will go to the actions if we're going to want to send this information out to someone as soon as so, uh, the person takes it at the minute they hit submit it will go to the person um, by email. So we're going to hit choose event survey option The conditions, we don't need to fill that out unless you have a condition. And we will need to do the task. The only one we can do right now is email. So for the two, we could put it the person that filled it out's email here. Or we can do it um, to you, the person that will you would want the form to go to. You need to fill out the subject. For the message, if you're sending it out to somebody that took the survey, you should fill this out. But if it's just for um, your records, you do not need to fill out the message. But you do need to include the response report. That will tell you how, how they filled out the survey. And hit save. 